Hello everyone, my name is Lewis and I am the commentator for StarCraft Sports Network coming to you for part two of our uh, three-part tutorial on setting up a Linux machine to be our router, gateway, and DHCP server um, all in one for our network instead of using a stock router. Um, we're basically picking up off part one where um, we set up the DHCP server and um, that's pretty much it. We set up the DHCP server um, on what interfaces that we used and this this and that so if you haven't watched the first one and you're watching this one just for the IP uh, tables um, go right ahead um, but if you're setting up a machine to be your router and stuff then um, proceed uh, this is this is the most vital part of everything the firewall and setting up NAT everything so this is this is extremely 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 important so we're gonna pick out where we go so Let's start. Login as root. Now we're at our prompt. Um, the first thing that we got to do is now we got to decide are we just going to do everything uh, through the file and just do everything manually or should we just do everything from the command line? More than likely you want to do things from the command line because it's a lot more simpler because you want to set up some basic rules and I don't know, that's that. But in this case, um, um, you know, I, I really want to do it from the file because I, I know the syntax, I know all that. But for this tutorial, I'll go ahead and just do everything from the command line first, and then we'll do all the modifications to that specific file. So um, let's get started here. Type in IP tables space dot t dash t, excuse me, space, type NAT, space, then dash capital A, type post routing, space, dash O, which will be the output, which is the modem, where the modem is, which should be ETH0, depending on your configuration, ETH0, space, dash J, what we want it to do, mask you raid, in capital letters, that'll make, that'll set up the NAT right there, so it adds it, so as long as it went to the next line, we know for a fact that it put it in, and it's working. So if we want to make sure that what we put in is exactly what we wanted to put in, then the the thing we got to run is IP tables space no no IP tables dash save space a uh, arrow that goes to the right which should I don't know if it I think it's uh, greater than space forward slash etc forward slash sysconfig forward slash IP tables enter and that's that so let's make sure that it actually went so open, use your favorite editor I'll use vi etc sysconfig IP tables to make sure it's in there yep it's working oh oops I got two lines I might as well uh, get rid of one of those so as we can see here we have two sections we have the NAT section then we got the filter section the NAT section is basically um, going outwards meaning anything we're doing that's going um, out um, this is what's going to happen. That's a, this is essentially what's going to happen going um, outwards. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we can see commit, which means do the changes. And then the next section we see filter. That means anything that we're doing input based, like anything coming into us, um, we can block or allow or whatever we want to do. So that's pretty much that's pretty much the. Uh, concept around this. We can edit the file from here now if we wanted to. We can go ahead and edit because the basic syntax we use on the post routing is, on the dash A is pretty much the same as even in even in the um, input section of everything. Even in the input section of everything. The filter. Everything is pretty much the same. You just gotta make sure you put everything above the comment line. So press I for insert mode. Enter and then move. Oh excuse me. And then move up. So we can just pretty much type in exactly how we wanted to um you know how we really wanted to do it on the command line so instead of saying IP tables we'll just get from the get-go minus a space and then we can continue now um, the first things that we need to put in are uh, two forwarding uh, two forwarding um, commands which means um, we want to make sure uh, the only way a connection to us can be made is that if we started it first if we we started it first if a computer from the outside starts a connection with us that's bad that is really really bad so we're gonna type in forward in capital letters space 
minus i, which means input, input, which uh, the address that's inputting, eth0, which is from the modem, space dash o, which is, of course, the one, the output, which is going to be toward the network, space dash m, state, space dash dash state. So we want to put in capital letters, related, comma, established, meaning if it's related to us and that we started it first, established the connection first, minus j, accept. It's going to accept those connections, period. The next line, press enter, minus a, forward, minus i, which is input, eth1, which is us, or the network, I should say, and the next one, uh, minus o, eth0, which is outwards to the modem, or to the world, instead of, so now, now we just got to put minus j, accept. Anything going outward, accept. If you put this as deny, no one can contact the outside world at all. This is, this is kind of, it's kind of ass backwards, so if you put this as deny, no one can contact the outside world. So press escape, shift colon wq, or for whatever editor you're using, go ahead and save it. So now let's make sure IP tables actually um, got this right. So we can easily type in service, IP tables, restart. And this will tell us if our syntax is right. So it's going to turn it off. It's going to flush the rules, accept, and put everything in. Look at that. It worked. Everything's OK. Now remember, if it's failed, make sure to go in and make sure you did not make any mistakes. Um, now what if we want to open up some ports? Let's say we want to open up some ports. I think it makes sense if we actually opened up some ports. For example, if we wanted to open up ports for, I don't know, um, StarCraft, for example. The ports that we have for uh, StarCraft and Brood War. What if we want to do that? Well, we can easily uh, go ahead and do the IP tables command, but we don't want to do that because it will actually put it below the post routing, and we don't want that. We want it to be pre-routing instead. So let's go ahead and go back, uh, press up on our keyboard to get back up to the IP tables. Now, if you're using Vi, press I for insert, and make a line before the post routing. So we'll go minus A, space, pre-routing, space, I for input, which uh, should be um, ETH0, obviously, you know, anything coming into us, obviously, minus P for protocol. We want to put the UDP protocol, minus M. It's got to be UDP as well space minus minus destination port 61112 um, minus J DNAT space dash dash 2 dash destination space and then put in an IP address that you want to use um, it can it could be an IP address that you have on the network for example on the first one we set up a static so um, we'll put in the static address to make sure that we can always use this on this IP and put a colon six six one one two to make sure that um, as long as we're um, re as long as we're listening on that port, that port is open. But now we got to set up a TCP one as well because they usually recommend us to have both. So minus a pre routing, it's going to be the same concept except everything is TCP except the uh, P and the M are TCP. So let's go ahead and put it in. I'll, I'll put it in. I'll slap dash it super super quick. And that's that. That's how you open up the ports right there. But now we got to make sure that at the bottom, those are being forwarded, for, uh, forwarded, forwarded, <sighs> whatever. So at the bottom, right before commit, right after the forward, um, eth1, eth0, j accept. Go minus a forward like the above. The uh, d, the destination. Give it the IP address that we set up at the top. Space I ETH1, which is the input. P TCP. Space dash M TCP. Destination port 6112. J accept. And it's the same thing for UDP. We gotta put the we gotta put the same. So that way it can be working um, both ways.
And that's pretty much it on that one. So now we have those ports forwarded to that specific IP address. So go ahead and save your file, and we're going to reload IP tables one more time to see if we have any syntax problems. We have no syntax problems, so we are ready to. We are actually ready to rock and roll on this now. We have everything in here just as we needed. Everything's working just awesomely. Now, before we bef before I let you go, there is one more thing you got to put in. That means that we need to stop anyone from pinging us. We really do not want them to ping us. So go back to your file. And when you're on the output except in the filter area, press O to make a new line. So now we got to go minus A, input, space, minus lowercase i, ETH, um, excuse me, zero because it's the modem, minus P. ICMP, which is the uh, protocol for pinging, minus M, ICMP, minus minus, ICMP type, space 8, minus J, drop. It's going to drop everything that has, it's going to drop everything that has anything to do with pinging us. Now, also, the next thing we got to make sure that's in here minus a input protocol tcp m state minus minus state new m tcp dash day drop this means uh, any tcp connections coming into us you better drop it period you better drop anything tcp that's coming into us no matter what anything tcp coming into us needs to be blocked except the forward ports at the bottom is going to contradict that because they're forwarded ports they're not inputted. So we, we ba this is basically making sure that any new connections coming to us, DCP is going to be dropped. We don't care about UDP because UDP is, is a connectionless protocol. So who cares? We're worried about TCP. Um, anyway, this is definitely going to block anybody from uh, pinging you or getting into you or knowing that you're there. Because if they port scan you, that's that. But um, a recent thing was brought up to me about port 0 and port 1. My dad said that port 0 and port 1 were open. If you want to, if you actually, if you really, 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 really want to block those, we can go ahead and um, actually put them in like this. Oh, actually, we can actually put them, um, I think we can actually put these, um, I think we can actually put these above our, um, no, um, below our I ICMP, I believe. I think we can do that. So we can go minus A, input, minus I for our inputted interface, ETH0, minus P, um, protocol, TCP, M, TCP. Um, I believe this one will be... Um, Uh, shoot, I think I forgot it. Um, I th think minus minus D port space zero space minus J drop A input minus I ETH zero minus P TCP M TCP D port one minus J drop save your file and then service IP tables restart. Make sure everything's working. Yep. We're working. Everything's in business. Everything's working like it should. So port 0 and 1 are definitely blocked. We can't receive pings, but ports uh, 6112 is being forwarded on TCP and UDP to that one particular IP address. So on a port scanner, they'll appear as closed, not open or stealth. So that's only if uh, the uh, person trying to get into you really wants to scan that high. So... There you go. That's how you set up IP tables. Uh, we'll actually be going over IP tables in the third video when we actually set up security and uh, shelling ability, if you really want the shelling ability. But um, if you want to watch the next one just for uh, security uh, security of your Linux system, you can. You, if you have a regular uh, home Linux system or whatever, you can do that too. So uh, make sure to drop by on that video for the final part of our Linux router tutorial.